Oh, good sir, did he confess it? Good sir, be a man. Think every bearded fellow that's but yoke may draw with you. There's millions now alive that nightly lie in those improper beds, which they dare swear peculiar. Your case is better. Oh, tis the spite of hell, the friends are mocked, to live a wanton insecure cow. And to suppose her chaste, no, let me know. And knowing what I am, I know what she shall be. Oh, thou art wise, tis certain. Stand you aside a while. Restrict yourself only in patient way. While you were being overwhelmed here by your grief, a passion very unsuitable to such a man, Cassio, came here. I sent him away and gave him an, a good excuse for your fit. I told him to come back soon and speak here with me. Which he promised to do, only I received. Dost thou hear, Iago? I will be found most cunning in my patience. Dost thou hear? It was bloody! Lie, Desdemona, well, and you are sure on it. Now, if this suit lay in Bianca's power, how quickly should you speed? Alas, poor rogue, I think, if faith, she loves me. Now he denies it faithfully, laughs it out. She's telling everyone that you shall marry her. Do you intend to? Do you triumph, Roman? Do you triumph? Ha, ha, ha. So, 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 we laugh at him. Faith, the cry goes that you shall marry her. This is the monkey's own giving out. She is persuaded I will marry her out of her own love and flattery, not out of my promise. Crying, oh dear Cassio, as it were, his gesture suggested. So hangs and lulls and weeps on me, so hails and pulls on me. Ha! Now he tells how she popped into my chamber. Oh, I see that nose of yours. Not that dog I shall throw it to. The Duke and Senator of Venice beat me. Ah, well, I kiss the instrument of the pleasures. I'm very glad to see you, Senor. Welcome to Cyprus. My lord? Are you wise? What? Is he angry? Hi, sweet fellow. Devil! I have not deserved this. You have seen nothing. Nor ever heard, nor ever did suspect. Yes, 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 you have seen Cassio and she together. But then I saw no harm, and then I heard each syllable that breath made up between them. Hmm, strange. I dust, my lord, to wager she is honest. Lay down my soul at stake. If you other, remove your thought. It does abuse your bosom. If any wretch have put this on your head, let heaven requite it with a serpent's curse. This most goodly book made to write horror upon. What? Committed? Committed? Oh, thou public commoner. What committed? It stops, the nose at it, and the moon winks, the body wind that kisses all it needs. It's hushed within the hollow mind of earth. You will not hear it. What committed? You could then strump it. By heaven, you do me wrong! Are you not to strump it? No, as I am a Christian, if to preserve this vessel from my lord for any other foul, unlawful touch, be not be a strumpet. I am none. What? Oh. No, as I shall be saying. Good What's the matter with my lord, madam? Who is thy lord? He that is your sweet lady. I have none. Do not talk to me, Amelia. I cannot weep, nor answer have I none. But what shall I go by, Walter? For thee tonight lay on my bed my wedding sheets. Remember, and call thy husband hither. What's the matter, my lady? Am I that name, Iago? What name, fair lady? 
Alas, Iago, my lord had so behold her, thrown such despite and heavy terms upon her as true hearts cannot bear. He called her whore, a beggar in his drink could not have laid such term upon his calendar. Why did he so? I do not know. I am sure I am not such. Do not weep. Do not weep. Alas, the day. Oh, good Iago, what shall I do to win my lord again? Good friend, go to him, for by this I know not how I lost him. I will did trespass against his love. I pray you, be content. Tis but his humor. This business of the state does him offense, and he does chide with you. If twere no other. This but so I warrant. My lord, get you to bed on the instant, and we return for this. Dismiss your attendant here, look it will be done. I will, my lord. Oh, Desimona. He says he were returning content. He hath content me to go to bed, and bade me to dismiss you. Dismiss me? It was his bidding. Therefore, good Amelia, give me a knightly wearing and adieu. We must not now displease him. I would you had never seen him. So would I. My love doth so approve him. That even his stubbornness, his checks, his frowns, prithee, unpin me, have grace and favour in them. I have laid those sheets you bade me on the bed. All's one, good faith. How foolish are our minds! If I do die before thee, prithee shroud me in one of those same sheets. Come, come, you talk. I've heard it so. Oh, these men, these men! Dost thou unconscious think? Tell me, Amelia. That fair be women do abuse their husbands in such gross kinds? There be some such, no question. Wouldst thou do such a thing for all the world? The world is a huge thing. It's a huge price for a final buzz. In troth, I think I should, and undo it when I had done. Mary, I would not do such a thing for adultery, nor for measures of lawn, nor for gowns, petticoats, nor caps, nor any petty exhibition. But for the whole world, why? I would not make the husband a cuckold to make him a monarch. I should venture purgatory for it. Beshrew me, if I would do such a wrong, for the whole world. Why, the wrong is but a wrong in the world. And having the world for your labor, tis a wrong in your own world, and that you might quickly make it right. But I do think it is the husband's faults if wives do fall. The wives have sense like them. They see and smell and have their palates both for sweet and sour as husbands have. What is it that they do when they change us for others? It is a sport? I think it is. And doth affection breed it? And have we not affections, desires for sport, and frailty as men have? Then let them use us well, else let them know the ills we do, the ills instruct us so.